because it's a great calumny against the Jewish people. You said that to me. You said to me, nobody that is deemed an enemy to the Jewish people is ever written of well in history. You know you control much of the publishing industry. So if you write the books, your people are heavily placed in the media. So when you all get ready to dog us out, you call those in that you pay. Then you told me that if I did all the things that you all asked me to do, you would clean up my image. You knew you dirtied it. But I'm not going to beg and bow to you to clean up my image. God is sufficient for me. And God is sufficient for Kyrie and Ye. And God is sufficient for everyone who has been made a millionaire, a multimillionaire, a billionaire. And then you call your man at Forbes and tell them, put it in the book, that there's a new billionaire black kid on the block. There's Miss Oprah, one of the most beautiful women you could ever have as a friend. But now she has something to lose if she's not careful. Careful means you have to guard your mouth. So you used to be able to open it. I'm going to do that again. You used to be able to open it. Now when they pull that chain, now you can't find your voice. You're afraid. When fear grips you because you think you're going to lose something that's dear to you so you don't want to venture out because you're afraid. I say this, dear beloved, resist the devil and he will flee from you. To resist means to withstand the action or the effect of. Because if you stand and fight with truth and unity, you'll never lose even what you got. They don't want to be shown up. They want to put fear into you. And they do have power to hurt us. And God has plenty of power to hurt them. So I think I'll stop now. But if you want our brothers to come and sit with your rabbis and visit the Holocaust Museum, why not let one of our scholars come and sit with them? Because we know the Torah by God's grace. We know the Talmud. And we know you and your history. Yes. Leave our people alone. Leave Kyrie alone. Step back and see what you're unleashing. Stephen A. the other day, he didn't take up 
with Kyrie in the movie, but he took up that you took it too far. Some others say you buck breaking because you still are an old wicked slave master. Yes, sir. Sing for me, nigga. Don't talk dribble, dribble. Well, we're tired. We don't mind dribbling for you if you respect us for who we are. We haven't asked you for nothing more than a decent paycheck for the work that we do to make you a multimillionaire and a billionaire. Leave our brothers alone. Don't try to use what you're doing to Ye and Kanye. Ye and Kyrie, pardon me. So you can keep a muzzle on our great basketball players that have a big contract with you. When they reached in their pocket and showed me a, a white envelope with the things they wanted me to do if I would have their friendship. And when they say, we're going to watch you for a protracted period of time. See, we need to watch them for a protracted period of time because we have never done to you and your people what you and your people have done to us. We don't need to go see the Holocaust. We feel your pain because we're really human beings. You don't feel ours. Because to you, a thousand blacks ain't worth the fingernail of a Jewish man. I've read these things. Yes, sir. You want to have a real good dialogue so we can start afresh and anew? Because the old way is not going to work. I told the, the rabbi and Irv Kupsinet, two or three rabbis, Irv Kupsinet, they said, well, you got your truth and we got ours. I said, it's, it's not about your truth or my truth. It's about what is the truth. If we can agree on the truth, we can build a better relationship. Now, uh, I think we should watch you for a protracted period of time before we admit you into our heart as a friend. What about that one? You want my brother to go out and denounce a movie? that is teaching knowledge of self? Why don't you call the producer of that, the writer of that, and make them say that what they did is a lie? It's still in the movie. Don't pick on my brother. You want to fight, we can entertain you. We're all born to die. And at some point, I don't give a skip how powerful you are. Like I said to one of your brothers who had me, and I visited him in his uh, penthouse apartment on Fifth Avenue. 
and he offered me a drink. I said, sir, I, I, I don't drink. He said, well, you, you drink orange juice? I said, yes. He said, that's me. You listen to music? I said, of course. He said, that's me. Do you go to the movies? Of course, occasionally. He said, that's me. I said, sir, I know you're a powerful man. I said, but the God I serve, when it's your time to get out of here, Neither your money or your power can keep you alive on this earth one fraction of a second after the decree of death is in for you. So who's really powerful? I'm not bowing to you. I bow to God. And I think we're going to get to that point where our people are not going to bow no more. We'll soon get to that point where your money don't mean to us what it mean to you. When life don't mean more to us than the principles of truth upon which we stand. You're going to meet that kind of black person. You're meeting them now. And more and more you are making them by what you're trying to do to yay what you've done to Ye, and what you're trying to make Kyrie do to get back friendship with you that you never give him. Ain't no forgiveness in you. It's never enough. He said, I apologize for the hurt that my going to that movie and advising others to check it out, it may hurt. That ain't far enough. You did the same to others. That's not far enough. We don't like your apology. Tell me something. How many of you would come and sit down and apologize to us for the transatlantic slave trade. You come now. Bring your wife and your children and tell us you're sorry for killing us, raping us, castrating us, and enslaving us and making us chattel. Will you come and apologize? Our people can be like you. It ain't enough. See, if we tell you when you apologize, it's not enough. Oh, you trying to pimp us and hustle. No, reparation ain't pimping. Reparation is what we deserve for the Pain, pain and anguish that you have caused us to suffer. No, no, no. But you won't do that. You won't do justice by us. That's why judgment is on you now. That's why you can't live a day without another calamity. And they're not going to stop. It's going to get harder and harder because the God of justice has claimed us. Kyrie and yay. And Durant and Barclay and Shaq. We belong to God, not you. Don't try to use us against each other. If they want to talk to any of you, we'll go with you. You bring your rabbis, you bring your scholars. And I told him, when we look at our book that we wrote, we only quoted your scholars, your historians, your uh, rabbis. 
So when they asked me to condemn uh, our book, I said, oh, if it's all lies, I certainly will condemn it. But we only quoted your people. So when you come out and call everyone that we quoted a liar and an anti-Semite, all right, then I'll condemn the book. But you're not going to do that. When I told you at the end, I want to be your friend. That's why I'm sitting in your house, eating your food, and inviting you to my house, and we prepared food for you. I would like to get along with you. And so would Ye, and so would Kyrie. But you can't abuse them because you promised them wealth and nearness to white power. I'd like to close this little talk You uh, should be desirous of having, making peace with us. Don't try to buckle us under because of all your power. God can take it away from you in the twinkling of an eye, and he's about to do that. You can come against me, as I said, with all the force and power of what you have, and I will stand on the truth that I was taught and stand with God. And as long as I stand on truth and stand with God, I will be the winner, and so will ye. And so will Kyrie, and so will any of us who want truth in our lives and will fight for truth. May Allah bless you. That listen, may Allah comfort you. May Allah give you strength to stand for truth and righteousness and unity. I close with this scriptural verse. <clears throat> Resist the devil and he will flee from you. To resist means to withstand. For nearly 40 years, I have withstood you. Everything you've said and done to hurt me and those with me, I'm here. I've withstood the action and the effect. And I remain undamaged or unaffected by what you do. You know, if I live, I'll soon be 90. You can't wait for me to die. But I can't die until Allah says so, not you. So as long as I'm alive, I'm not going to sit by and let you do what you're trying to do to our people and we say nothing. Thank you to all the brothers and sisters on social media who are standing up like the soldiers that they are. I just ask that you remember our brothers who are caught 
in the strange net. Why not let us release them? Don't beat them up. Let's release them from the prison of fear and ignorance. And you'll have all of them standing together. Then we all can pool our resources and be thankful for what we've been blessed to get by our association with members of the Jewish community. But we're not going to let you destroy us. We're not going to let you turn us into what will make us ashamed of ourselves. Let us unite, brothers and sisters. Let us declare our oneness with God first and our oneness with each other as long as we are in the right. And if we drift and we are not in the right, we are family. Bring our people back to the table and straighten us out. May Allah bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank Allah for putting that spirit in me as I greet you in peace. And the love and favor of God. I am your brother. And I love you more than life. I want to see us free. Come on, brothers and sisters. Let's stop nibbling at each other to the joy of an enemy. And let us confront with truth and then clasp hands in the unity of the brotherhood and watch God bless us to keep on growing and going up. But never let money be your God. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>